Hey guys, what's up? So, let me show you guys how to uh, spoof your app version on your iOS device. This tweet just came out today. I think it's like, what's today? June 23rd? No, June 22nd, my bad. So, that's my grandma's birthday. So, shout out those go to her, guys. Happy birthday to my grandma. She's like 75 or 76. But, okay. Let's read the video, guys. So, um, yeah. So, this is a tweet, guys. It just came out. It does support iOS uh, 13 up to 14.8.1. <clears throat> which is pretty much like the last version I think you could jailbreak because I was 15 so it doesn't have a jailbreak yet um, yeah like I said it just came out and I see like it came out and had like one update already so that's really it as you can see yeah just one update so it came out June 21st oh I didn't even know it came out June 21st but um, yeah so June 22nd sports dark mode fitch uh, case reversion number field look could be left empty so um, I don't really know the point of this besides like I thought like you change the app version and it actually would, like, would act like that app because it tricks the app into thinking that it's that app version. And that could still be the case, but I have I tested it out and I mean, it works. Like it changes the app version, uh, but it doesn't really do anything from what I've noticed besides just change the number, which is kind of pointless. <laughs> I mean, unless you just want to control your friends being like, oh, I have this version of an app, which you can just always just downgrade um, on apps admin or app store plus plus. But I don't know. That's just pretty much what it is. Alright, but I'm gonna show you guys how this tweet works and how to install it. So you guys wanna see you do have to have a jailbreak. Um and you guys wanna add the Havoc repo, which is pretty much the package repo uh change into the Havoc repo. So it should be in H's right there. So add that repo and then you guys can go and just search up or go to the source. They have a lot of tweets in there, so I would just suggest searching up is easier. If you go to bottom right and then you go to search. On the bottom right and then you just search up three 3d oh, 3d app version spoofer and this is right here and then you want to go to install it which i already have installed and that's really it guys i'm gonna show you how to use it so activate the 3d touch menu by long pressing on your your app pretty much on the app pro tip don't just uh spoof a random app version go to app store app catalog find out which version you like to have so that's that's what kind of tricked me up it's like so if I downgrade it to a different version, would it, would it have those versions featured and all that? I don't really know. It's a good question. <laughs> uh, this message would not work on all apps. Obviously, there are different ways that the apps uh, check for the version number. So I guess it's kind of saying that the app would act like it's that version number. It doesn't work with all apps, but maybe the apps I try out doesn't work on. But maybe that's the case and point of this week. It does work, though. Like, it does actually change the app version. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just for show or if it actually does anything um, useful. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to use it. So after you install the tweak, your device will respring. And then uh, when you hold on to an app, you're going to get a menu, uh, probably a different menu than what I have. But you're just going to see this option, spoof app version, right? So you want to tap on that, and then this will come up. So it tells you pretty much what version you have, current spoof version, which I'm going to have to change it. But it tells you what default app version you have, and then you could kind of mess up the, the app, which most of the time you're not. You can always just revert back to the default, so you should be fine. Um, like I said, but to, do just for your own educational purposes only. I'm not taking responsibility for happening, so use at your own risk. So let's say I'm gonna change this. Right now it's 3.7, and I'll change it to 5.5, .5, okay? Spoof, you open it up. Okay, and we'll go to the settings, scroll down, and we'll go to about, and right there. So version 5.5, .5. it did change. So like I said, it does not work with every single app or game, but it does work with a lot of them. All right, so hold on to it, go back, spoof, default version. And now when I go back to it, it's gonna be the 3.7, which is the default version. There you go, 3.7. So that's really it, guys. Um, I did try some like four apps. It actually did work on three out of four of them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So it worked on the little files, uh, um, did not work on TV and it did work on Streamlabs. I'm going to show you guys this one as well. So, spoof app version, it's on 6.5.5. I'm actually going to change it to 99.99. Um, .99. Um, so, spoof version, open it up. All right, and then I'm going to go to the here. Okay. Oops, scroll down. All right, and then go to version 99.99. .99. So yeah, that's simple, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. And lastly, I'm just gonna show you what the developer was talking about. If you guys wanna get to the change log, it's really easy. You will search up 
or go to our Apple game, you wanna see a change log and go on it. And then you see right there, what's new, version history. And this is the change log. It tells you like the version and the fixes and the updates in that version. You can press more to expand it. That's what the developer was talking about. So that's what maybe got thinking. Maybe this tweak can, you know, pretty much give you that version. And then the app acts like it's that version. That would be dope, but I'm not sure if that's the case. It might be, who knows. Try it out for yourself, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.